Hi everyone, Stasha Swartz here of I'm a Men Restored and Massage and I wanted to show you some high bend stretches that you can do with your horses in between working out. So Brady here is getting um, the second round of his beamer being done because I need to, he's got arthritis in his neck so I have to, after his normal beamer session, I then move the blanket up a little bit so he can get the beamer up on his neck. Um, so that'll help him. So what I'm going to show you today are some high bench stretches. Again, one of the biggest questions I get from clients is, what can I do to help my horse in between massages? Um, a lot of people actually will ask, what can I do so they don't get sore? Well, your horse is going to get sore. Just like human athletes, equine athletes get sore. When you're working as hard as our horses do, it's inevitable. you know. And, and we do what we can in between massages, in between people, to um, help them stay happy and healthy and sound and feeling good with their muscles, but muscle soreness is bound to happen. Um, but there are some things we can do to help keep muscles nice and limber in between massages. And, you know, with um, these stretches, please note that they are more static stretches. They should really be done after the muscles have warmed up. So I typically do these stretches with Brady after I'm done riding him, um, but because I've had the beam on him and it's really getting his blood pumping and the circulation, his muscles are nice and limber and warmed up anyway. Um, so what I'm gonna show you with this hind end is just some back and forth stretches. So we'll pick up the back leg and always wait for the horse's leg to relax. Don't try to force the issue. You want this to be a comfortable experience and not something where your horse is getting a little bit like, what are you doing? This is scaring me. I'm not sure about this. So I always wait for Brady's foot to, to first relax before I slowly start to pull out as far as he'll let me. And this really helps to stretch out that cycle muscle. It gets a little bit page and those transverse abdominals. Now this one is the more difficult of the stretches I do with him because he's very tight in his hamstrings and in his lumbar muscles and so this particular stretch again do not force anything but really what you want to do is to get his leg that hind leg up as far as it'll go until he'll let it Relax to the point that you put the foot down. Good boy. And that's all there is to it. So what this particular stretch does is it helps to stretch out that hamstring and that butt cheek muscle. It also helps to stretch out up here in the top of the gluteus. And the important thing, like I said, is, is do not force the issue. Um, when I first started doing these stretches with Brady, he would fight it, and it was all about just being patient and making sure that he was comfortable to do this. Um, his right hind is his sore hind leg, and so we'll see what he does. So I'm going to try to spin him up a little bit. Like think of yourself maybe as a kid or maybe your kids or even now as an adult um, trying to teach a human body to do splits you don't immediately go into the splits where you're going to like totally rip your core muscles it's something that you have to gradually build up to because the muscles need to learn they get tight 
and they need to learn how to be able to flex and be flexible. And so it takes time, do not rush these stretches, but it's a really excellent way of being able to just after they're working out when those muscles are still nice and warm and limber to just help stretch out those muscles here in the hind quarters. Again, my name is Sasha Swartz on the Men Restorative Massage. And um, what we're gonna do now is transition to the front. We'll see what we can do. Okay. Shoulder stretches and the front leg stretches are a little bit different. Now, Brady really typically loves the shoulder stretches to the point where he will try to put his entire weight on me. You, you had to learn. Do that because I cannot hold up a 15 or 1200 pound animal. So he's got the beamer cups on his front legs, but I think we'll be okay. We'll do the front. Stretching and that again helps to stretch out the shoulder, gets into the rib cage here, and even get up here into the withers, depending on how they perform during that stretch. But you can see he wanted to put his weight into me so that he could really get that stretched out. And it feels really good for them. And again, really helps back here, um, especially for our um, uh, horses that have to collect a lot and horses with a lot of front action getting into the shoulder is so important because that's one of the tighter spots I see, especially in the rear shoulder um, with our performance horses uh, because of just the pure action and how much they use that shoulder. So please check out my other videos. You can find me on YouTube. My channel is On The Mend Restorative Massage. Of course, I'm on Facebook and Instagram, Horses On The Mend, Stasha Sports. Please private message me or you can put a comment, you know, follow me, and I'd love to come out and help you with your horses and their muscles so that your horses are feeling good about their body and feeling much more able to balance and move and be flexible. Um, their postural control really improves tremendously. This was in one of my other posts. You know, doing this beamer for a week on Brady has almost nearly eliminated his lumbar back pain. And I mean, if you look at some of my other videos with him, he's always been super reactive in the back. So I do feel like between the beamer, the massages, the stretches, as a 17-year-old horse, his top line is in terrific condition. I don't even know that if people were to see him, they'd be able to tell his age. Except for Brady, that's not funny. Anyway, follow me. I'd love to answer your questions. I'll be at Black Eyed Susan Circuit in July, in the second weekend of July, and then I'll be at New England Regional in the last week of July. See you soon. Bye.